Hey, this is Reggie Watts, and you're listening to Tony Monaco at Z1035. All right, uh, Tony Monaco here live on Z1035 and uh, via Zoom here today from Los Angeles. We have uh, Reggie Watts. Hello, Reggie. Good morning. Good morning for you and uh, good afternoon for us. Uh, man, yes. you've come a long way from, you were born in Germany, spent a little bit of time in, in Europe, and then made your way to Montana. How did a guy from Germany yeah. end up in Montana? Tell me about that. <laughs> Well, my, my dad was in the military, so um, he, uh, he yeah, he met my mom in France, and then the, it just kind of went from there. So, like, with the, Germany was where he was he was stationed with right. uh, with the, the, I believe it was the Air Force to decommission a base. So, yeah, I just got lucky. He happened to be there and met my mom there. And you put uh, Montana on the map uh, way before Yellowstone, right? Uh, Montana was like, yes, I, yes, I did. I tried to, uh, right. Hey, what's up? Um, and, uh, yeah, I, uh, what was it? Yeah. I guess we had a choice between North Dakota and Montana. So my parents picked Montana. So I moved there when I was three and a half, but it's, yeah, it was a good, good choice. I love it. Um, you're a, an actor, you're an author, you're a musician, a beatboxer, a, a comedian, you're either a really talented guy or you just can't hold down one job. So it's one or the other, right? <laughs> probably all of yeah i, I, I would say all. the talent most, let's let's go with talent mostly, and richie watts <laughs> i don't know mostly <laughs> well you never know mostly maybe i decide just don't want to work you know because i'm just like no i'm just kidding but no i mean it's yeah, i've worked weird jobs but yeah it's a weird job to, to do what you're doing it is definitely it's awesome it's amazing but when you stop to think about it, it definitely is a trip your brand of comedy is uh, definitely different. You have a different style and a delivery. It's 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 humorous, but definitely on the different uh, tip. Um, <laughs> that's the easiest way. How would you describe your uh, your type of humor and comedy? If you can, I mean, it's, if there's no label that you really uh, put on it. Maybe there is. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's 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 a, it's improvisationally based. So right. I'm improvising, and it's just very silly. You know, like I'm yeah. just thinking about when I'm up there. I'm just like, what is the dumbest? You know, right. what, this is so stupid what you're about to say or what you're about to do or whatever. Mm. And, and and then that makes me laugh. And, you know, and if I'm having a good time, hopefully people are also having a good time. So that's 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 my brand of comedy. It's like I'm I'm just going to do some stuff and hopefully people are going to like it. Where do you draw the inspiration from or it just comes from everyday stuff that, you know, you come across and read and see online? Yeah, that's exactly right. Yeah, that's right. exactly right. I just kind of am absorbing all the time. Like, like if it's, I'm at a restaurant and I'm overhearing a conversation across the room or. <laughs> so like, nobody is safe, uh, man. If you hear something, nobody. it's going out there. <laughs> no, nothing is safe. Right. Although it would be very unrecognizable. Although, although that's, not, that's not true. Sometimes friends will come to my show and if I was hanging out with them earlier in the day, they'll notice I'll, I'll bring up stuff that we brought up in conversation. Yeah. Not necessarily that they said, but just like things that we were talking about and don't after the show, they'll be like, oh, you were talking about, you know, when we were. I'm talking about roller skating earlier in the afternoon. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that that happens. You're uh, coming to town to, to do. I, I had to do a double take on this, but the show in Toronto on September 23rd is a free show. You, you don't see that very often with a top notch star. That's super. That's super rare, and I'm actually right? glad about it. Yeah, I'm really glad about it. I hope because, they're picking like, up the tab and like you know giving you red <laughs> smarties and at least uh, taking care of your flights and hotel and whatnot, right? <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. It's like it's never ending. It's never ending supply of uh, of maple syrup. And <laughs> there you go, perfect. And our Tim Hortons coffee. I don't know if you've ever had that. Yeah, right? The Hort. I know the Hortons coffee. Yeah. Right. So uh, someday I'll. I'm gonna. Don't worry, we mystery. got we got Starbucks for you here as well, if that's your thing. Uh, I gross. Know. Don't worry. Local, local okay. only. <laughs> Look, I'm Italian. We'll get you set up with some nice espresso and cappuccinos, okay? There How's we that? go. Thank uh, you. There we you're go. You're good to go. That's so you're going to be uh, playing at, uh, <laughs> some people call it Bearski Park. Some people call it uh, Berksy. It, it has some sort of German connection there. Wow. So maybe that's why they brought you oh, in wow. with your German connection. Yes, right. I, mean, I can settle this. <laughs> I'm gonna help. I'm gonna help you out, can Toronto. <laughs> yeah, we're uh, definitely looking forward to that. Uh, for somebody that's uh, never checked you out online or seen, you know, any of your Netflix uh, specials, what can they expect from that show, September 23rd here in Toronto? We're ten days away now. Sheesh. Uh Yeah, no. Um, you know, I have no idea. I'm gonna have to get. <laughs> You're to like, Toronto I gotta write and... some stuff for Toronto now, right? I guess. Yeah. Well, no, I'll write it when I get when I land. I'll write it <laughs> when I get up on stage. That's when I'll start. That's it. You're totally ad living it, right? That's that's yeah. what improv improv is all about, right? You totally. Yeah. Uh, you totally, spent some time yeah. on the uh, yeah. James Corden show, and that's come to an end. That was a good ride for you. What eight nine years on that, right? 
That's correct. Yeah. Yeah. So you were the, the uh, band leader, and uh, you know there, there was some stuff uh, last year on uh, on James Corden. I've seen some stuff on on Fallon and Ellen when she was wrapping up about uh, toxic environments. Uh, James had that incident yeah. in the uh, in the restaurant. Um, you know, he was banned and then he was unbanned. Uh, how was your experience? Yes. Because, you know, when I'm watching him, he just seems like a, a nice guy and he's a fanboy, loves all the stuff. The carpool karaoke's were really cool. How was your experience on the set with James Corden? I mean, it was it was great. He yeah. was. Um, yeah, I really didn't. You know, uh, we never had any issues. He uh, he was I mean, he when he hired me, he told me you know kind of what to expect and that was completely 100 percent accurate yeah yeah he was just like do whatever you know hire whatever band you want and and i was like oh this is great and then i i did that and i, I remember you know them really being happy about what i did i don't know it was just it was strange we we basically got to do what we wanted to do i mean it was yeah once in a while we get in a little bit of trouble because we're just messing around too much on um uh, you know, up up on the band stage or whatever, and, and, and that happened a few times. But other than that, no, it was great. They just let us do whatever, and everyone was really chill and nice. And, I don't know. And even the guests, my friends who would be on the show, right. they would say like, "Oh, they loved hanging out on the show because the green room was so um, collaborative and communal, and um, you know, had really really good stuff." So it was. I don't know. For me, I I had a great time. That's what I like to hear, you know, you hear uh, different things about uh, different uh, late night show hosts and stuff. And I'm sure, you know, yes. people are, are driven and there's a lot of pressures and stress and, you know, maybe a lot of uh, demands and whatnot, of but uh, hearing it uh, firsthand from you that you had a great experience on the show. That's awesome. Uh, what's next for uh, Reggie Watts? Uh, well, I got a book coming out uh, okay. called Great Falls, Montana, and uh, that's coming out on October 17th. And that is imminently next. And I'll be doing stuff for that press for that and uh and then uh then i'm going to be filming a comedy special um either this fall or early spring okay so it sounds like you got a lot of writing to do you haven't done the toronto show yet <laughs> yeah yeah that's right that's let, right let i'm gonna write that. the book i gotta write the book after the toronto show well, we look forward to your like show it's mind. a free event everybody so go check out uh, reggie watts september 23rd at bersky park although some people call it bersky Park. Oh, it's, it's definitely a park. I love it. People walk their dogs yeah. there. It's the dog walking park in Toronto. There you go. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Have a great uh, time and uh, safe uh, travels to uh, Toronto, and we'll see you when you get here. Thank you very much. Thank you, Reggie Watts. All right. All right. Bye.